Hello and welcome back to Dragon PME Tutorials. I'm just going to give a small tutorial on widgets because I know um, Vista's gotten a new gadget out. I thought, why not? Hmm. Anyway, if you're a Mac user, um, to download widgets, you cl simply click on the Apple Mac button and go to Mac OS X software. Um, Mac seem to have a lot of the software that's out there for Mac on the Mac website. So some of the stuff I get from here too. Um, apart from that, I go to pure-mac.org. Anyway, you just go on the left-hand side and click on Dashboard Widgets, and you get an abundance of widgets. Simply select them by category. So um, I'm going to search food, because I'm hungry. Well, I'm not really, but whatever. Egg timer, because it's the first one I saw. And download. Um, this should download the widget. Um, there it is. I know I'm on I'm on Firefox at the moment. Um, if you use a Safari, you should get a an, a message saying I you sure you want to download or something like that. Um, now I'll just close that and you notice it's a zip file. Dot widget. Dot zip. Um, if you don't have Stuff It Expander, then it should be just like a, a zip archive. Either way, you just double click it to extract it. Um, Mac does the rest. Um, and voila, it's extracted the widget. Um, you can drag this to the trash, or if you want to put it in a widgets folder, fair enough, keep it for later. Um, double click this, and you'll notice that it'll open dashboard, um, and also, when it asks you, do you want to install this widget egg timer, blah blah blah, install or cancel, I uh, suppose it's a security feature. Install, if you notice, on the desktop, it did disappear, and it brought up the dashboard, which all my handy little widgets are up here. Um, egg timer. Um, keep delete if you got this far and you wanted to delete it I don't know what you did but okay keep and I have my widget I don't know how to use it so always look for the little eye because that gives you information about the widget so for example on this dictionary widget I can't find the eye for information hmm that's worrying actually see there's one on Wikipedia there and also on this little iStat Pro thing. Anyway, so I for information, it should tell you about it. Uh, it looks quite boring, this one. I don't know why I downloaded it. Maybe 6, 5, 4. I don't know, I'm just messing around here. Okay, to add or remove widgets. Whoa, whoa, ooh, I'm getting confused. Oh, oh, there's a chicken being born. Time to check a scrambled tofu. Time to check the scrambled to tofu the computer just said. Okay, this is slightly random. I don't want this anymore. So, how do I get rid of it? Well, you go to the bottom left hand corner here and you see there's a little plus sign. And this will bring up all widgets you've previously downloaded. Um, simply, if you notice, um, these little X's have appeared above all of my other widgets. You click the X and it goes tra whoosh. And Let's see, well actually I quite like that chicken to come back, you just scroll through and it's in alphabetical order, all the widgets that you've got, or downloaded previously, you just click and drag it back on to the widget dashboard. I don't know how Vista does it, I've never used it, but personally I like this. I like this way of organising, oh, red ball, this is a good one, it's like a little bouncy ball. Oh, it takes a bit of a processing speed like, but never mind. Yeah, that's kind of a short demonstration on widgets. You can get widgets for dictionary, time, computer information, just to play around. There's a little question mark there, I don't know why. Oh, it's appeared. Um, to download Bible verses, or to search Wikipedia, or you can do what I do and get a hula girl that dances to your iTunes. Or a jigsaw, if you fancy a jigsaw. Oh, that's quite a big jigsaw. Forgot how big that was. Nah. Um, basically, widgets are amazing. There's millions and millions and millions of widgets out there. I do recommend it if you want to search the web or just play and do a Ruby Cube. Um, hope you've learned something about widgets. And I know that it wasn't hard to grasp by myself. So maybe you're sitting here watching why on earth is he doing something that's so, so simple. Um, I'll tell you why. Because I'm bored. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.